general health check on this thing. I'm gonna do a compression test on it and see what kind of compression it has. I could feel it when I was turning it over with a bar. So I know it has compression and I know the engine spins all the way around within, without any obstruction. So I wanna see what kind of compression this thing's making uh, and if there's anything that we need to be concerned about. Okay, or so first thing you need to do for a compression test is get all your spark plugs out. Now, if your spark plug boots are kind of stuck, which is really common on these things, grab the boot with a pair of pliers and just give it a good twist. And that should help break that bond to the porcelain of the spark plug. Get all your spark plugs out. Okay, so I need to get the engine sitting level and check the oil. There we go. Now, does this thing have any oil in it? Okay, they did drain this one, no oil in it. Okay, got it filled up with oil. I've got the throttle held open with a piece of plastic. And I've got the the main ground and the main power connected to a battery. So I should be able to crank this engine over uh, and it should, I should get a pretty accurate compression test out of it. There we go. So just starting on this side where you can see me, cylinder number two here has Man, almost 160 pounds of compression. That's really good. Got a little piece of cardboard. I'm gonna write them down on here. And I'm just gonna wash, rinse, repeat, and get through all eight cylinders. Uh, I want them all to be as similar as possible. Uh, my highest pressure cylinder pressures were 160 psi and my lowest was 150 10 pounds difference I'm really not worried about that at all uh, that's a that's a really good indicator that we probably have a, a healthy engine here but that compression now, test it tells me my my pistons are all coming up to at least extremely close the same compression height my piston rings are all sealing. My valves are all sealing. Um, and, and in general, I definitely don't have any broken or damaged pistons. So a good general health check. It lets me know that at least the lower part is doing what it's supposed to do. And then once I get it started up, I'll be able to put my mechanical oil pressure gauge on it and see what the oil pressure is.